You do this as individuals wherever you are. And you do it by doing what? By having a code. And what is the code designed to do? Anything that has constructive value. That's why I keep underlining the term constructive. Anything that you do, any move that you make as a person of color, a non-white person, that has a constructive effect is going to have a effect against the system of white supremacy. Why? Where is the logic? Because the system of white supremacy is designed to keep a person of color from doing anything that has a constructive effect. If you have, if you are classified as black and are non-white, you are not supposed to be doing anything that makes sense that we call constructive. You are not supposed to be doing it unless the white supremacist is having you do it for their benefit. But when it comes to anything that's going to benefit people in general, meaning yourself and the non-white people of this planet, the white supremacist will intervene in two seconds and shut you down from doing it. Or they will take it and pervert it. And this is usually the way they do it under the refinement system. They will come to you and say, well, let me help you do what you are doing that's going to have a constructive effect. But then little by little, they will take whatever you are doing and load it up with their poison so that you wind up not even knowing what you are doing yourself. Mm. Because they know they are very skillful at deceiving people, even when they approach you. So you always have a position when you see them coming of saying to yourself, here they come. What are they up to now? Yes, sir. Okay. Here they come. What are they up to now? Because usually it's something, if you're doing anything of constructive value, they are going to poison what you are doing, and you're not going to even be aware of the poison.